Welcome to August Leco Challenge. Today's problem is vertical order traversal of a binary tree. Given a binary tree, we turn the vertical order traversal of its nodes values. For each node at position x, y, x is going to represent the horizontal point, while y represents the vertical point. Its head, left and right children, respectively, will be at positions x minus 1, y minus 1, and x plus 1, y minus 1. Basically, we have a binary tree, and we want to return an output of the vertical traversal where each vertical line represents the point inside the index. And the order at which it traverses vertically is going to be the order. So here we can see that 9 will be on the first list, 3, 15 will be on the second, 20, and 7. Uh, now, the only exception to that is when one of the nodes shares the same point as one another. So here you can see it'll be 4, 2, uh, 1, but 5 and 6 here also share the same x, y point, right? So when they share it, we want to simply order it by whichever value is smaller. So here it would be 1, 5, 6, 3, 7. And you can see that's what it looks like. So there's a couple problems here uh, with why we can't do it the way that we are normally used to. Uh, normally we try to use the levels as the index point on our list here, but seeing as we want to go vertically now, that's going to be kind of tricky because we can start at zero, but everything on the left is going to be negative while everything on the right is going to be positive. So it's tricky to use a list to indicate where we are. So how about using a dictionary instead? So here's going to be our approach. We'll do a depth first search as we normally do. Uh, storing the x, y point into some sort of mapper. Once we've traversed all the nodes, now we'll sort this dictionary uh, by the order of the x points. And since we've been storing the negative all the way to the positive, ordering it should be fine. Uh, and we'll just add everything in order to a output. We'll create a list of lists and we'll create every, add all the nodes inside the point at which uh, x equals, say, negative 2 here. We'll add everything inside in order. Um, and if the, if the points are shared, then we'll sort that. We'll have to sort that point and add it to our list afterwards. So let's begin. Let's start with initializing a mapper. And for this, I'm going to actually use a default dict, making a list being the default value. And that's going to be stored by the x and y points. Now we want to write our depth first search. And we're going to be passing in the x and y point, because we need both, as well as the node. So as, no, as we normally do, if, if not node, we'll just return. And we want to first call depth first search on the left side. So we'll do x. This would be minus 1. And we'll do y. And here's one thing. Um, rather than doing minus, we'll just add 1, because we want to go in the order of top to bottom, right? But if we go start making a negative, that makes it a little bit trickier to sort um, along with sorting the X point. So we'll add it instead. And we'll pass in the node.left for this one. In the same way, we'll go with the right side, but we'll add one to the X. Still add one to the Y, and this will be for the right. Now, what do we want to do? We want to add it to our mapper, right? So to our mapper, we'll say, hey, our key is going to be the x and y that we passed. Make that equal to the node value. And in fact, since there might be multiple, we'll have to append it. We know that the default value is going to be a list. Let's append it. And currently, if we sh go to a point and it shares the same x, y point, and um, it's not sorted correctly, like we could Make sure to do that here, but we'll do it instead when we add it to our output. Output, And that should be it. That should be our depth for search method. Now all we need to do is pass in, pass in 0, 0 as our initial root. Pass in the root. And now at the very end, we should have a mapper or a dictionary that stores the x and y points as well as its value inside of a list form. So finally, we want to initialize our output. And what I'm going to do is set a value here for, for um, the previous 
x point and I'm going to just use the negative infinite floater uh, float uh, to indicate that we have entered a new index point for the x value. Um, and there's reasons that we, I'll basically show you here. What I'm going to do is for key and value in our sorted mapper.items. Now we're sorting it by the x and y. Right, so everything on the x side is going to come first, and uh, that's also going to be sorted by the order of these y's, which would be the vertical order. So if what we want to do, if well, let's first indicate what our value is here. So, well, I don't think I need to actually. So this key value, the first element inside this point, that's going to be the x. If key zero does not equal the previous one that we've been on, we're going to append to our output a new list. And what we'll do is simply extend to the last list everything inside this entire list for this uh, x, x value. And keep in mind that some of them might share the same x, y point, so we have to sort this as well. And finally, that should be it. We can just return our output. Now, I want to make sure that I didn't forget anything. So let's just print. Well, I don't need to do that. Let's just see if this works. OK, so looks like I messed something up here. And of course, I forgot to update the old to the current k value. So k at 0, make sure to update that so that we know if we've entered a new x point. OK, so that looks better. 9, 3, 15, 27. Now let's test it out when they share x, y points, just to make sure that looks OK. And this should have 156 in the middle. Yep, and it does. So let's go ahead and submit this. And there we go, accepted. Now, there are some variations of how you could do this. You could use the x point of, as the key and provide the vertical point inside the, inside the value instead. Um, at first, I thought this might not work because of all these sorted methods I had to use. But I ultimately think this is going to be easier than trying to figure out which index point we're at using these negative numbers. It, it just got too icky. Um, so I actually think this. Well, first is much more readable, but it actually ends up being faster anyway. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.